Osteoarthritis Osteoarthritis, or OA, is the most common type of arthritis. OA is a progressive, non-inflammatory degeneration of the cartilage due to repeated, excessive stress on the joint resulting in narrowed joint space and bones rubbing each other and causing pain. Progression of OA can lead to bone erosion and development of osteocytes or bony spurs. Risk factors of OA include aging, female gender, family history, obesity, due to excessive weight putting stress on the supporting joints, and repetitive stress on the joints. For example, vigorous physical activity such as jumping or running on hard surfaces, and occupations that require repetitive squatting, kneeling, and lifting. Signs and symptoms. There is usually stiffness and pain on the affected joints. However, unlike RA or rheumatoid arthritis discussed in my last video, the affected joints are not inflamed or warm to touch. An OA may only affect one joint at a time, especially larger weight-bearing joints such as the hip and knees. Pain usually increases with activity and relieves with rest. So pain is usually worse at the end of the day, especially after a more active day. However, as OA progresses, patients can have stiffness and pain after prolonged resting such as after sitting for a long time or after waking up in the morning but morning stiffness typically lasts less than 30 minutes compared with more than one hour in RA. Another classic sign of OA is this crepitus or crunching sound with movement and palpation of the affected joint. This is due to loosened fragments of bone and cartilage floating in the affected joint, and it is usually not painful. Other characteristics of OA include enlarged joints on imaging, and this node formation in the fingers, called Heberden's nodes, in the distal interphalangeal joints of the fingers and Bouchard's nodes in the proximal interphalangeal joints of the fingers. Diagnosis Unlike RA, there are no diagnostic labs because OA is not a systemic disease. Diagnosis is usually made based on x-ray, history, and physical exam. Interventions There is no cure for OA. Treatment focuses on symptom management. Pharmacological interventions include use of NSAIDs, steroids and opioids such as tramadol to relieve pain. Steroids can be injected into the affected joints to relieve inflammation, and there is also topical NSAID gel called Voltaren gel that helps with pain. Another over-the-counter topical analgesic called capsaicin is also commonly used for OA. It is made from chili pepper, so it has a mild burning sensation when applied on the skin. As with all topical medications, Avoid touching eyes and mucous membranes after using the medications and caregivers should always wear gloves to apply any topical medications. Glucosamine is a supplement that helps to build cartilages and prevent further degeneration of cartilages. Non-pharmacological interventions for OA include use of heat and cold therapy. Cold decreases inflammation and reduces pain while heat increases blood flow to the area and helps with healing and relaxes muscles. Limit time of application to 20 to 30 minutes at a time, and avoid placing cold therapy directly on the skin to avoid frostbites. Lose weight if indicated to reduce stress on the joints. Routine exercises such as riding a stationary bike, swimming, walking, yoga, and tai chi can strengthen the surrounding muscles to help support the joints. Exercises with repeated movement that strain the joints such as running should be avoided. Educate patients on fall prevention and referral to PT and OT evaluation for assistive devices, such as canes and knee braces. When all the above interventions fail, total knee arthroplasty, which is a surgical procedure in which parts of the knee joint are replaced with artificial parts, can be considered. In the next video, I will go over the differences between rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis for the NCLEX. In summary, OA is a progressive, non-inflammatory degeneration of cartilage and joints. It is mostly caused by repeated and excessive stress on the joints. Those with OA can develop bony spurs called osteocytes, and they also have these bony growth in the fingers called Heberden's nodes and Bouchard's nodes. Those with OA also have this crepitus or crunching sounds with movement and palpation of the affected joints. Pain in OA usually worsens with activities and relieves with rest. Medications to relieve OA symptoms include NSAID, steroids, opioids, topical applications like Voltaren gel and capsaicin cream, 
and joint supplements like glucosamine, 